not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Pepper, and today I'll be unboxing Terraforming Mars, the dice game. Um, this is a game that I've been looking forward to ever since I heard that it was coming, because um, all of us here at Nacho Average Tabletop have thoroughly enjoyed the original Terraforming Mars game, as well as Ares Expedition. Um, Mac has not played Ares Expedition, but Zach and I have both enjoyed it. Um, and when we heard there was a dice version on the way, uh, we got pretty excited and um, just waiting for it to become available. And we actually went to Barnes & Noble one day and just saw this randomly in kind of the puzzle area. So it wasn't even directly in the board game section. It was more by the puzzles and there was only one copy of it. So that was very shocking to see it there. Um, but we knew that it was a pretty good price too. Knew that we'd have to pick that one up. Um, but yeah, the rule book here looks to be, was it 11 pages, 12 pages? Looks like uh, a decent amount of writing and words here, so hopefully it's pretty easy to pick up if you have played those previous games. Um, I'm not sure if it is. From what I've, I haven't heard too much about this. I did watch the Dice Tower review, which wasn't the most positive, so um, that may have uh, lowered my expe expectations a little bit, but uh, they were still pretty high going into it because, like I said, we have enjoyed those games. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we have some cardboard tokens here. Um, looks like a lot of familiar uh, symbology and layout to certain things. These look like the goals that you'll be going for uh, to achieve in the game. And then these must be uh, player color, I assume. Must correspond to something. Maybe this goes on the score track. Not sure. Um, looks like we have uh, the people who are bringing you the game, as well as some other games from them. We have uh, two reference sheets, which this goes up to more than two players. This goes up to four players, and there are two reference sheets, so I don't know why they wouldn't just put two more in there. Uh, maybe these are just super expensive to print. I mean, I do feel like they have... a decent little finish on there, not just straight up paper, um, but yeah, it would be nice to have two more, especially when it looks like there is a lot of symbology to remember and different actions to do, so hopefully it's easy to pick up and I won't be needing to reference those very often. We have a player board here, which is the classic terraforming Mars board here. Uh, you kind of got the, the temperature and oxygen levels around the board, and then the map of Mars in the middle with certain spots for tiles with benefits printed onto those spots as well. Um, I believe the different milestones and things will go there. Um, it's a pretty nice board. It's about the same as the others. It's bigger than uh, Ares Expedition, which Ares Expedition, I think, was a little small. That one could have been a little bit bigger, especially for uh, the cubes on the tracks on that one. Um, are actually a little too big, I would say, so hopefully there's not that same problem here. Um, Artwork-wise, I mean, there's not a lot going on, but I do like it. It looks pretty clear. Um, obviously, colored cubes, able to tell them apart. Um, as long as you don't deal with any colorblind issues, I'm not sure um, exactly how those will work for that, but it's a decent looking board, on par with uh, Terraforming Mars. And here is also, um, I believe this is just a cardboard pop-out board, but it does have a fold there, so it's a little interesting. Um, more of these goals, which looks like you can switch those out um, for each game, which I really like, that idea. Um, that's kind of one thing with just... The pre-printed things that are in OG Terraforming Mars, I think they've added some additional ones along the way, but um, just an original, I would like to mix those things up, so it looks like uh, you are able to do that, uh, which I I like that concept. Um, but yeah, I got all the different tiles that you'll be placing out on the board. Um, lake tiles, and forests, and cities, um, classic Terraforming Mars, um, icons, oh boy. I do not have an assistant this time, so I'm going to have to open these cards the old-fashioned way. Um, by that, I guess I mean just by myself, and it looks like I have successfully opened them. Um, these ones are, they feel a little small, um, a little small cards. I'm not, maybe they're the regular size, I'm not sure, um, but 
Let's take a look at these cards. Um, got a lot of iconography on the tops here and on the cards as well. Hopefully it's pretty clear as to how it works. I feel like Terraforming Mars so far in both of the games I've played has been pretty clear, pretty good layout to the cards. Um, hopefully this one is the same. Um, I like the, the pictures they're using here. Pictures and artwork. Um, yeah, it kind of has that same feel of the original Terraforming Mars, which could feel dated. Um, these do feel a little dated just because of that, because that game has been around so long, but um, I do get why they are kind of sticking with that same kind of layout and look for the cards, um, even if uh, maybe it could use a little upgrade and modernize it a little bit. Um, got some more cards here. Looks like these ones are base game cards, so not sure, I forget if this includes any expansions at all. Um, I like that cube Earth there, that's pretty cool, the cube kind of being dice, Mars, and Earth there. That's pretty cool, it's silly, um, but I like it, it's cute. Um, and we have the different corporations, I believe, so this must be who you are, kind of maybe what you start with, um, possibly. And the different dice that you start with, and different resources. Um, looks like a good handful, what is that? Eight, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different corporations. Um, and then we have more of these cards. So we have some blue back and some red back ones. Um, so these say bonus at the top. I'm not sure what those represent. Yeah, I like the artwork here. Um, the stuff that is artwork, I do enjoy. And more base cards here. It looks like you're doing a lot of the same stuff. Um, it does look like you do gain production of the dice in this game, instead of just, like, resources. It looks like you're gaining the dice, which I believe you roll, and then they could possibly roll those resources with those dice. I believe is how it works. Then we have one more pack of cards here. Which, of course, I got through those two pretty easily, and now I'm going to struggle on the last one here. Let's see if we can get that open. Okay. There we go. And we have corporate era cards. Oh, looks like maybe some more corporations here. Okay, so maybe another eight or so. Um, and, like I said, this might include some small expansions, I'm not sure. We got some more bonus cards there. And then a bunch more of those cards, which won't go through every single one. No fish there. Oh, it is just, it is just titled Fish. <laughs> yeah, pretty good looking cards here. Robotic Workforce. Um, and then we have the area for cards here with these, um, these little filler spots there. Which I don't know if there will be expansions to this. Um, we have some cubes here, so some trackers for those different... Uh, okay, so these are a little bigger than these cubes. So player cubes for points, and then these cubes to go on and track... The, the temperature and oxygen levels, which this should work just fine on these boards. I know that um, Ares Expedition almost tipped over the light there. And it seems I have cut open my finger with some of these must be very sharp cards. I'll have to try not to get blood on the Cabonis here. Um, the most dangerous unboxing ever done. Um, but yeah, oh, are these two dice? Oh, I thought two of them were stuck together for a second. I really like the look of these dice. I like the, first of all, I like all the colors that they have here with the blue, red, green, just have gray as well, and then some yellow ones. I really like these yellow ones with kind of the brown printing in there to get the, uh, these look like these will produce money. Um, I'm not sure what that, uh, that symbol represents, but um, the money seems pretty clear that you'd gain that. Um, and then, not sure the planet symbol, what that would represent either, but these are really cool dice. I'm looking forward to rolling those throughout the game. We've got some red ones, which uh, look to have a few different symbols as well. Um, this looks like maybe an event symbol. Um, and, 
the uh, Celsius, so that's probably the temperature there. Um, and maybe that other one was the uh, it's above the oxygen level, possibly. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I assume. Okay, so these ones kind of have those those microbes and plants and uh, I was gonna say dog, uh, the paw print, animal symbol and leaves. So I think yeah, these symbols will be needed to fill out these cards and actually be able to play them, which is interesting versus just having to most of the time just get a bunch of money and buy the cards in the other games. Oh, yeah, these dice are like slightly stuck together. Um, so hopefully that's fine, and looks like we get some titanium, um, some uh, usual discount. Oh, we got like a city um, symbol there. So these are really cool dice. I like seeing all of the symbols that I know from Terraforming Mars on, printed onto dice. That's really cool uh, to see. We got the last one here. Um, we got some water symbols, uh, some oxygen. Um, yeah, some really, really cool decks. I like these a lot. So I'm hoping that I do enjoy the game quite a bit because, like I said, I love just kind of the core game of Terraforming Mars, and I love dice games. So if this can combine those into a wonderful experience, uh, I'm going to be very, very happy. Um, but yeah, check out our first impressions video to see um, what we thought of this game uh, that should be uploaded along with this video. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on that content.